Welcome to Race with Ryan. Look what you lot made me buy, you horrible, horrible, horrible people. <laughs> Why did I do it? You said in the comments it would never happen, so I threw myself at it when I saw it on deep, deep sale on the PlayStation Network. Race with Ryan, this is the PS4 version, is a 1 to 4 player kart racer aimed blatantly at children who are 3.9 years old, not 39 years old like me. <laughs> Did that stop me? No. <laughs> However, if I take myself out of this equation, because this game is the most cookie cutter kart racer game gen generally ever, with generic locations, generic weapons, really annoying voiceover work, and cutscenes that basically have this Ryan guy. I've never seen the YouTube channel, and I don't intend to. So for me, this just looks, looks like two parents who have thrown their child in front of the camera and gone like, sell some toys! And they're trying to be desperately excited, but Ryan looks like he's ready to put up like a little sign that just says, someone send the NSPCC. <laughs> he seems so like not interested in this experience at all, which I found quite funny. Um, outside of all of that, if you take a step back and think, if I was a really young child looking at, at taking on my first kart game, this has some interesting accessibility options that I think makes it much more of a viable choice for a very, very, very young gamer than perhaps many other carters out there. And that's because it comes with options that allows it to auto-drive but also corrective steer so that if you've got, say, a really young kid who's just learning the controls, struggles with the analogue stick, you've got like a two, three-year-old where all the motor skills aren't quite there in the cognition yet. They could have a really good time with Race with Ryan because you aren't really... The game's kind of course correcting your inputs so you can be absolutely atrocious and still end up in the finish line and still be kind of vaguely with the rest of the AI. Um, or if you're playing local multiplayer, you can still kind of be vaguely around the other player even if they're actually playing it properly, which I thought was quite a good way to get a really young person into kart racing gaming before you take them off onto like the good games instead, like your Mario Karts, your Crash Team Racing, your Sonic Transforms. So yeah, really interesting way of trying to get people on board. The sad thing is though, is that outside of that, this is a very generic game that has some interesting theming for the first couple of like races that you have until you realize that it's then going to milk quite a lot of this dry throughout a not very long career mode, so to speak, but you're going through different cups, replaying the same races over and over again. But you'll also find that it's the same couple of weapons that pop up that you've seen in every other kart game. The same different locations are very simple to an awful lot of the other generic kart races that are out there. There's one at the beach, there's an ice level, there's a there's like Ryan's bedroom with loads and loads of toys everywhere all over it and there's nothing challenging or specifically like inventive in the way how they have built out all of these levels they feel like a late ps2 budget way of designing things and it's not terrible but it's just we've gone beyond this now and i'd expect this to be in a very low budget mobile kind of very cookie cutter way of just dropping down something that will do retheme it that will do and then we'll double our track things by saying we can do forward and backwards which i don't mind actually to be fair but yeah everything about this game just feels basic benign and cookie cutter the handling is okay it's a little bit um what would i call it understeery soap ish and I think the reason why it feels quite benign is that they've implemented some kind of drift mechanic, but it's not driftable enough to make you be able to get like really tight round a corner. It feels like it's doing, it, it doesn't feel like it's doing anything basically. So it feels really underdeveloped for a drift mechanic to enable you to have some proper boosting in, which then requires skill. And because this game isn't aimed at skill, it's aimed at getting people's eyes to look at Ryan basically the, the whole experience just feels like you're moving forward at a relatively slow pace the other thing that I would say is that although the kart racing experience itself has loads and loads of different characters and different um, vehicles for them to rummage around in which I do applaud Ryan's voice pops up constantly now sometimes he appears with like some uh 
almost like thumbnail poses that they've then shoved in whenever you hit something or you go to fire a weapon. Or for me, because I was always in the lead, I didn't have any reason to fire the weapons. And then Ryan kept on going, don't forget to fire your weapon. Don't forget to fire your weapon. I just wanted to shake his body until he stopped talking. <laughs> so the whole thing was just shut up, Ryan. And I think if you muted him... You could get away with probably a, at least another 90 minutes of gameplay before you wanted to scream about this game <laughs> entirely. But there's nothing like truly offensive about it at all. It's just we've seen it all done before everywhere else. Slightly better, <laughs> um, but it's not terrible and it's not done to the point where it's like really badly designed. It's just a nothing piece. It reminds me of licensed games from the 90s and 2000s where you knew that you knew what you was getting into when you bought them <laughs> this feels like a very similar feeling um and it's a shame but yeah we'll see we'll see not terrible not great i wouldn't recommend it to anyone unless you was under the age of two and a half and you were struggling to not put a controller in your mouth and wanted to like wiggle a stick instead written review over on highplanegames.com when it comes to questions leave them down below this is the level of depth of despair that I bring to you in the gaming sphere. I hope you're happy. <laughs> Take care. Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network, a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash network. Your support makes all the difference, and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.